What's poppin' this is on the fly? She girl, your car keys ain't them. Chill with a new man, this your boy Ian. What's up, what's up? It's your girl Ingrid here. It's your boy Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl Desiree Simone. Hey, K22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ me. What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, Words? Homie DJ Chosen. Say, man, it's Wapi Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy, baby girl. It's your girl B Simone with Catch 22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Ayo Nikki, and I'm rocking with Catch 22 at 92 Kills. You can check out my single Cheat on You on YouTube, and that's A Y O N I Q K. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92Kills.com. All right, we back. Uh, I, I just want to say really quick, Hello. I really like Threx, um sweater shirt. I do too, bro. It's just, it's, very, it's, it's so far <laughs> It's it so distinguished. It fits you so nice. Hey, look I just want to You got a t-shirt on under that? His grandma bought him a sweater. She, she said, I ain't seen you put it on yet. <laughs> You gonna you wear the sweater well? that I got you for Christmas? Yeah, Did you take a picture? In sure. He got his gold check. You really look like the youth pastor. <laughs> <laughs> you look really nice. Or Dominican Republic. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> like Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know he Mexican. If he ain't got no, if his shoes on um, with no socks, then he definitely demented. You ain't got no socks on, Trex. <laughs> you better have socks on. We don't have time for that. We got another special guest in the building uh-huh. with her cheating. Uh huh. She be cheating Cheat. and stuff, you know. At least thinking about it. Hey, yo, Nikki. <laughs> you be cheating. Lies and accusations. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a lie accusation if you, you didn't say that You ain't see me cheat, cheat, I ain't cheat. If you ain't see me do it, that ain't true. That ain't true. Hmm? Did you say you was thinking about cheating? I ain't say I thought about nothing. What you was saying? I said you make me want to. That's the same Okay, thing. look, That's, I got yeah. a question. So if your man cheat and you don't catch him, did he cheat? Yeah, he cheated. No, you just said if uh-uh. you didn't see it. No. If you didn't see it, it ain't cheating. Y'all said I cheated. I said y'all didn't see me cheat. Exactly. Didn't see me cheat. It ain't cheating until you get caught. I really didn't cheat anyway, so no. <laughs> <laughs> it's I the cheat. difference because I really didn't. Oh. That don't mean that somebody don't make you want to. Oh, know. okay, Nikki. How mm-hmm. you doing today? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Excellent and faithful. I'm um, excited to have you here, man. We was waiting on I'm you. I'm excited to be here. Okay, okay. Now, for people that don't know, tell us what you do. Um. Cheat. Cheat. For sure. For one, I, I sing, cheat. I sing, I write music, and I sing. You sing, you write music, and you sing. You left out because somebody told me you dance. I used to dance. It's uh-huh. been a minute. Uh-huh. I used to be good at dancing. I used to hoop, too. Oh, you was I'm, a hooper? Yeah, I used to be. Oh, you a big I used cheater. to do everything. Everybody play basketball, cheat. Cheat, for sure. Yep, definitely. Yeah. That's Everybody. A cheating, oh, that's a cheating sport. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. You see James Hart travel every other night. <laughs> see, see, I didn't make it as far as James, though, so you can't say I cheated. But you I played in school. I ain't play, you know. But you did it, though. So. Okay. So how long you been in this industry? I actually been singing my whole life. I started when I was like four in church. Uh-huh. That's I where think, we all start. Yeah, it was like something was going on in church, and my mom always told me the story. I just went and grabbed the mic and started singing in it. Then they put me on the radio <laughs> in church. No, they actually was, they thought it was cute. Oh, cool. So I started singing, singing every Sunday morning in church. I don't even know. I don't he got remember. the whole world in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mama sing. My grandmother sing, my great grandmother. I grew up in church, so I'm like my whole family sing. So it's kind of like natural, but so taking it serious. So why aren't you a gospel singer? I was just about to ask her that. I like R&B music. Because it's boring. Yeah. No, I, lo- I love gospel music, no, actually. Really? You love the way it makes you feel, but no, you don't want to sing it. I you love gospel music, but I love R&B music. I like to make music about things I went through. Oh, okay, so, like cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, so you saying that you like to make R&B music, so you like it more than you like gospel music? You got to like it's, it. a, it's about equal. It's about Cause equal. I like the way go- gospel music brings out emotion, and I feel like as a singer you have to sing with emotion. This is true. So I kind of like both. I like gospel music. I I feel like I have a gospel voice actually. People always tell me you got a church voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. But I love R&B music, so mm. you know. I mean, it's it's kind of intertwining now, cause you know Tamla Man. Making an R&B album. They got that new sex album out. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not speaking on that. I'm not getting straight down. <laughs> that's for real. That's for real, though. No, that's real. That's I know, real. but I mean, they married, so they can do that, you know? Marriage, you're supposed to be in love, so. Okay. Oh. You, you know, you can make love music butt. if you're married and you're talking about your spouse. That's not bad. Hey, that album was horrible. I just want to I didn't that. even listen to it. It's one of the worst <laughs> albums I ever heard. <laughs> I used to be a praise dancer. Wait. I'm not finna play with you. Nah. I did. I was like, no, no, no. Well, you, you did. I swear. I, I hope you're you telling the truth about this because you, you, I, I believe swear. the bartender behind you. But I don't know about the praise dancer. You know, dancing. I swear. Yeah, you did. I swear. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hold on. I know we're gonna prove it this Sunday. Next Sunday, we're gonna go to church. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get some white gloves and I'm gonna praise dance for y'all. Oh, All right, man. Okay. <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> Gotta see this. Matter of fact, when we get off the air, I'm gonna call my FaceTime my sister and I'm gonna ask her. No, we don't have to do that. Can you do something for us when we get off air? Yep. Please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right here, right now. Yep, right here. So, what do you enjoy most about making music? The creativity, like being able to express yourself, like, you know. It's like no limits to it. So however right. you feel, you can just do it on a song. Sometimes you may think things sound stupid, and it end up like, oh, you know, when you go back and listen to it, it sound good. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, especially going in the studio. Sometimes you may feeling. say stuff and you think it sound crazy, even like with ad libs and stuff, and you're like, oh, that actually sound good. So, right. so I like what made you want to pursue music as a career and not just a fun hobby? Um, it's like I actually love doing it. I currently do work full time, mm-hmm. so when you, you know, I hate working for people. I right. I be up there and I be like, man, why am I doing this? It's mm-hmm. people that come to my job and they're like, hey, I seen that video. I seen, I follow you on Instagram. Why are you here? Right. And when they tell me, they kind of made me think like, why am I here? Because <laughs> you got bills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, right. I feel like why not turn your passion into, you know. So you know, what you profession. saying that? What you saying that? Like. The way that the industry has gotten so saturated with just people, everybody's making music. Mm -hmm. Would you still make music if you knew you couldn't make a million dollars? Of course. Because I think that's the difference. There's a lot of people that's making music because they feel like it's the fast way out. Like, But it's not many people that really love to make it. I look at it like this. I work out every day. Working out might not make me a million dollars, but I love working out. I like to love. I like to do what I love. Doing what I love, like when I go to the gym, it's like therapeutic. Like when I leave, I'm it's like I'm in a good mood. Can't nobody bring me down. I feel good. It makes me feel good. And that's how I feel when I go to the studio and I make music. That's how I feel just singing in the car. Like that's, that's how I feel, how I feel singing feel. in the car too. I've been singing in the car, I'm in my own zone. Like, ooh, can't nobody bring me down. I'm just happy. So it makes me happy. I feel like it's more than money. It's, life is about being happy. So uh-huh. it's not always about money. Yeah, that's what Brian said, but I don't believe it. No, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to some people, you know, but every, to everybody, money ain't everything. Well, it's, I knew, it's, look, it can help a lot. Don't get me wrong. Brian but, said it all the time. You know. I, I just, I ain't doing nothing for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chasing happiness. You know what make people happy, too? What? Cheating. <laughs> so you want to speak about the cheating? Yes. <laughs> we can talk about cheating. Let's okay. talk about cheating. What y'all want to know? You be cheating, right? No. You, you work out, cheat. you play basketball, you sing. You started in the choir. That sounds like the formula to a teacher. Yep. Mm. At church? That's oh, the cheater start, started pack. You was raised in church? You was in church all the time? Always. You oh, were definitely three, oh, three definitely days a week. You definitely cheated. How many times have you cheated? You must got somebody right now. I do. Yeah, that's why she's going to cheat. I ain't cheating. She's going to come on to my faithful. I am faithful. You ain't faithful. We ain't talking about the past. We talking about right now. Okay, okay, look. So, look. To this person, you faithful, quote, unquote. I am. So, faithful. but have you ever cheated? Yeah. Oh, once cheated, always cheated. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> hey, brother, set up, right? right now. Can't set up. But honestly, I don't really think it was cheating. What you did? Like, you know how you you know how you try to end the situation and you kind of like leave a person alone, but they haven't let go. But did you, you tell them that you was done? I told them like I I, I didn't want to do it no more. I'm not gonna say I wasn't entertaining them. I still entertained them, but oh, then you just cheated. You no, cheated. because I told them that I didn't want to be with them. But you were still entertaining. But they were still coming, popping up with gifts, doing this and doing that. Was you and I was over the here gifts? doing uh-huh. this and doing that. But they were still trying to do this and that, and I didn't want to do it. No but more. you still consider it cheating? I consider That's it the... because I didn't fully leave the situation. It wasn't like I just fully shut the door. Right. Because I still let them on, but I told them that I didn't want to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. I, it's not like I didn't say anything I did. They chose to keep trying to fight for something that wasn't there no more. Okay. So why did you keep accepting the gifts? Because it was good. Because it was nice. No, it actually, I wish. It wasn't none of that. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why would you accept the gifts? I didn't have no choice. They sent it to my job, and the receptionist brought it upstairs. Oh, no, you could oh, live wow. it downstairs. I couldn't. I was at my desk, and the receptionist set it down. And, and like, you no, 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 no,
You could I didn't know what it was. I was busy, and then like a few You thought it was later, one of your new boobs that sent it. That's uh, what it was. Uh, 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 <laughs> and you was like, oh, I looked at it later, it. and I read the note. I'm like, oh, Lord. Now, besides cheating, what is one of your biggest inspirations to making music? <laughs> I love it, Tay. I love it. See, it's not even about cheating. <laughs> Did you listen to the song? Uh-huh. It said, I can easily just leave, but I'd rather cause a catastrophe and you'll be feeling like me. That's it's really about making you feel how I feel when you do the things that you do. So, you know That's not so it's not necessarily saying that I want to cheat. It's so because that... I don't work, you want to cheat. That ain't fair. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> that ain't fair. Anyways, <laughs> my biggest inspiration is just like, I, I'm, I'm one of those people, I don't like capping and talking about stuff that I'm not about. Right. I can't sit up and make a bunch of music about a life that I'm not about. Right. right. So I love making music about real things that I've been through, things that I can relate to, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people get up and put on the front about doing this, doing this, popping that, will never shoot nobody, you know, I can't do that, I'm real. That's right. me, don't talk so about me So I just like to be real in my music, that's it. So who would you say some of your favorite singers are? Like she said, a lot of people. I like the new wave with the LMAs and the her and the Janae's, and I like that, you know. But if I can go back, I'm really like a big Monica fan. I love like Beyonce too, of course. But I like Monica, Sierra. I, I like Sierra to really dance. You the wise. first person that ever said Sierra is one of your favorites. Sierra, so. I like Sierra because she's an entertainer. Trying I love entertainers. Like Chris Brown is honestly like one of my favorite artists ever. But he can sing though. Yes, and I like Michael Jackson. I love Michael Jackson. Believe it. He's or not. weird. I love Michael Jackson. I don't I care. I think weird people like I don't Mike. Care. I, I like, like Mike. Michael Jackson. You weird. Put you your weird. hand out. You very weird. Put your that's hand who, out. Honestly, that's the first artist I started <laughs> watching as a child. When y'all, when somebody said I dance, mm -hmm. I started watching Mike dance and videos every day. Then, you know. So you put on my, like one of your mama's jackets and you just sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I was a kid, my dad used to have like these videos of Mike, Mike's, all his videos on one tape. And he would put it on and I would be like a kid looking at it, watching it and imitating the TVs and that's stuff. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. So what song are we about to listen to right now? Oh, this song is called Congratulations. You okay. played yourself. Okay. Is this about the same guy that you was thinking about cheating on? <laughs> no, that she cheated on. That she cheated on. This song is about somebody else. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the dude you well, heard. This is this is the dude that said like church scriptures in the middle in the morning <laughs> and you tried to get him and he was like, Yeah, congratulations, you played yourself. Oh <laughs> That's funny on something. This lives. song is about this song is about men who try to like, you know, they feel like they're getting one up on you, but eventually they played themselves in the end. Right. And they lost a good person. You lost a good woman. Right. And you be cheating. You lost a good woman for a phony. For one that be cheating. Oh, yeah, exactly. Or like, you know. You know how that go. I you know they leave and then when you actually really gone and they thought the grass was green on the other side and they always crawl back on. Hold on, y'all not finna keep doing this. Definitely like, not. Going long, Definitely not. We didn't think the grass was green. We just didn't think we, we knew the grass was green. green. You knew that. <laughs> if you knew the grass was green, then you would never came back. That's not true. That's Whatever. Not true. That's not true. Look, look, look. You ever ate somewhere? You be like, oh, my stomach don't feel right. Do you still go back and eat that? Yeah, yes, huh? you do. Cheddars. <laughs> don't do cheddars. Cheddars is good. All the time. But everybody be like Taco Bell. Uh, but when you lay, we still go. And it's at night. Hey. Taco Bell if you feel your stomach like that, something wrong with you. Uh uh. Mm -mm. You just love it that much. Cut Chimmy Chan do that to me every time. But you go back. I love Chimmy Chan. <laughs> Thank you. All right, go ahead and introduce Congratulations. You played yourself. All right, this is Congratulations by me. Who is me? Ayo Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> by Ayo Nikki. This is Congratulations by Ayo Nikki. That's Let's kind. get it. This song ain't about a man. What? I actually got that from him. It just went. Because it, it was just like, congratulations, goodbye. And I was like, I need to add something right there. And I was like, you played yourself. Yeah. I like so it. So how does your new man feel about these songs when he end up listening to them? <laughs> honestly, honestly, like when I make my music now, he always be like, is that song about me? Because you always making songs about me and hurting you. Like, is that about me? Like, he always asking he me. So I be like, he see me write new songs, he'll be like, you making one about me? And I'll be like, uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't work. You don't work. You take it with this work. You don't work. <laughs> So do you find your inspiration in, in the things that are going on? And so would you be happy now or we're going to get some happy songs? Oh, yeah. I got like three. I Actually, I'm working on my EP right now. Like, I like to write my music, then go record it. 
a lot of people go in the studio and just go off the dome, and yeah. I, I like to write. Oh, so I actually cool. write it in at home, record it on my phone, and then I go in the studio and lay it. Okay. So, so I got like, I got like three else? songs. Oh, yeah, I, I would love to be a songwriter. You know who you should write for? Who? Thick and nasty. <laughs> Whatever y'all want, let me know. Okay. Because we need, I mean, you what need some What type of music y'all want to sing? What y'all want to sing about? First of all, we do Cause everything. Because Thick and Nasty sound like a little. First of all, we do everything. everything. Okay, if you want us to do a country song, we do it. All right. We that talented. Platinum hits over here. All platinum, honey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Trying you see the way like I'm standing? Trying to get like y'all. Okay. Yo. As long as you know, we the best. <laughs> um, so right. I got a question before you get out of here, before we kick you out. Um, Ooh. Like, we're not kicking out. I got a question for it, too. So Ooh. I got a question before you get out of here, okay? So when you at home, if your phone go off, right? Mm-hmm. And you get a text message. Does it say our message or is it the message? It be. No, no, no. Like, does your screen light up our message or is it just the message? Meaning, basically, do you have you to say our message? <laughs> you a cheater. Yeah, oh, message. no, you a cheater. If girl says our <laughs> message. I'm not a cheater, cheater, though. It's been like that before I made my boyfriend. Oh, uh, uh, it don't matter. You prepared. You don't want to know why? You want to know why? You want to really know why? Yeah, please Because at my job, is I'll be talking about my coworkers. And they could probably, I hope they do it. Uh-uh. Right now. Nah. But at, no, seriously, at no. work, at work, listen, at work. Look at my face. You set your phone down, right? Mm-hmm. If it go off, they can easily look on the screen and see. That's I why my go privacy. Fall. I don't need people seeing what my message is uh-uh. saying. That's what if a- I'm talking about my boss and she walk by and see that? You know what I'm saying? Brad, that's a cover that? up. Oh, wait, Brad, what is that? Yeah, you're fired. Like, oh, that's no, her? That right there. Oh, okay. That right there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so I have a question. With you having a man, and I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you, you know, is he really on social media? He's seeing all of that. We already had that conversation. What do you say? Be okay in trouble. When we first started dating, he had an issue, but I had to let him know before he met me, I'm an artist, this is what I do. Okay. And I work out, like I said, a lot of that, you see, read the caption on there. I ain't reading no caption. It says, built in, 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 no no in the gym. You have Motivation for y'all to work it. out. I actually personally train, so I have Ooh. clients. Hold so on. I live in the gym. Oh, Ooh. for real? Hold yes. On. Okay, so, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Who motivates you? I don't need no motivation. Like Some of these pictures is no, motivation, no, no. Drew. No, if you ain't been on her page, I've been motivated all day today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you I ain't so strong. You got a different type scroll. of motivation. That ain't my motivation. Because, listen, I'm going to Jamaica in July. You and wanna, I, let, and let's I'm get it. Okay. Let's get I'm going to hire you. If I don't but say But, yeah, I told know. him, I said, look, who I am on so, here and who you... As a person, like, it's two different people. But he's still going home, too, so he should he, be home. No, he, it ain't even that. Once we had that conversation, we get solidified. He had to split it. So this with you being so big, my personal life and my music is, you know. So right. how do, how do you end up dealing with somebody who's really not on social media and you're blooming yeah. the way that you are? Because I don't like media. people that's in the line. I'm like, I like, cause I'm, cause people, you know, I don't. Honestly, even though I do music, I'm not the type that likes to draw a whole lot of extra attention. I'm really shy, but I'm down to earth. Me too. So, you know, I don't want a person to judge me from looking at my social media versus really getting to know me as a person. That's real. Right. So I had to let him know, like, get to know me. Wait. All right, this is my last question. Y'all good? How in the world <laughs> do I, Hurry up! I forgot the question. Quick. I forgot. <laughs> I had one, but I, I forgot. No, 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 no. I was going to ask you, but you wanted somebody that's not in the line. I'm like, how does some... I know you got a man now, so I'm not telling people to do that. But how does one get your 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 attention? He actually tried. He tried once, and it was like a, nah, I'm good. And I saw him again. And when I saw him again, I just actually paid attention. And I was like, oh, he's trying to kill me. You know, like, <laughs> And then it was like the chemistry was just A1 from day one. The first day we went on, I ain't gonna lie, the first day we went on, we've been together ever since. We've been together ever since. So, so he took you on one day and you One like, day and oh, we ain't never left each other's side. Where did he take you? He took us swimming. Nah, I'm, <laughs> to be honest, I'm chill. Bar- My favorite food is barbecue. I love barbecue wings, So he took you to Papa's. Barbecue wings? I ate some wings. We went smoke hookah. We had drinks. And we really- you smoked we, with a hookah? We, yeah. we smoked hookah, oh, okay. had drinks, and <laughs> ate wings. And we've been together ever since. We ain't never, I've never, like, I cut everybody else off like a week after. It was just like, that's it. You ain't never the been the, the chemistry and the vibe and was just too real. It was too real. We're going to have to talk about that. Where you get the wings from? Because I need the wings. My whole magic. family. Magic. He got everybody off after a week. I need the, I need the weak wings, too. Yeah. But no, it was just like, I feel like if a man wants you, he gonna come get you, he gonna pursue you. It wasn't games, like you gotta like, oh, why this person ain't text me, why they ain't call? He do everything, like he does all of that. To this day, he still do everything. So what happens The same, when he nothing's stops? changed. It what hasn't happens, stopped. If, if he stops? I don't think he gonna stop. I should've cheated. I got, I tried to <laughs> <laughs> So where can they find you on social media? A-Y-O-N-I-Q-K-I. A-Yo Nikki. 
All our platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. No, not Twitter. <laughs> Facebook. I don't know. Do Too tweet? many social media. I tweet all the time. Just I like Twitter. Love. I like Twitter more than everything. I hate Twitter. You want to know why I like Twitter? Ain't no pause on Twitter. Because people don't be on there like that. And exactly. I could be free and tweet, speak my mind without people seeing what All right, I'm saying. Stop I'm that. That's what came back and got Kevin Hart. You better, you can't be I got one view you. on here. One person looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm They're going to start pulling your tweets from way back when. Yep. yep. They pull tweets and from And you can't host the Oscars. But that's the thing. I don't, I don't do all of that extra uh-uh. stuff they be doing. They be talking, be talking about cheating Like stuff. seeing, talking about black women and all of that shit. I don't do all of that. I talk about my me, not it, people. All that stuff. <laughs> yeah, said that. No profan titties, remember. All right, well, thank you so much. <laughs> I didn't even know I said a curse word. Did you yes. You know, See? That's Brian, don't shame. pay attention. We don't. <laughs> we don't you worry about shite. it. I apologize. <laughs> you good. It's a Sunday, too. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Nikki, for stopping by with us, man. Y'all make sure y'all go check out. Congratulations. Ch- see, that's why I don't have singing friends. Because she tried to no, upstage no, 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 That was a joke. Oh, I thought she was trying to hit for it. I was going to let you go. Singing friends singing. always trying to outdo you. you I don't got time for that. I'm gonna I, I ha- look, sing. I'm going to let you have your 10 seconds of fame. Go okay. ahead. Bust a note, girl. I don't even get 15. She cut the shot. She cut the shot. Okay, bye, Dicky. We'll see you later. I'm just Thank playing. you so much for stopping by. Thank y'all All for right. having me. We about to go ahead and get into a mix with DJ Nice Sweater. <laughs> <laughs> and when we come back, we got another guest in the building. He was from Nice Sweater to Nice Sweater. Show. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.